What is up guys, it's your boy Ganso and welcome back. This video was brought to you by Skillshare. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get wide vocals aka stereo separated vocals for free and with a good plugin and also an alternative in case you don't want to get a plugin which you should by the way because it's free. I'm actually gonna use my track called Sorrow as an example. Uh, I'm gonna play it to you guys and then do the effect. So as I said I'm gonna use my track this is how it sounds like. <laughs> If you actually want to listen to it, I'm gonna link it in the description. Now, the vocals aren't fully mono, but they're not too wide either. I'm just gonna do a quick before and after, like normal to mono. I've been ducking. The difference is really subtle, so let's actually make them wide. As I said, I'm gonna be using a free plugin which should you should definitely get it's called vocal doubler by isotope you can just google it and you know it's free or you can always use stereo enhancer but it's not gonna get the same effect or you could also use um, ozone imager which is also free which is i think also by isotope vocal doubler just gets the job done this is not sponsored by isotope by any means i'm just saying it's it's a good plugin for free and if you're doing vocals you should get it so i'm gonna solo this vocal and it's quite mono keep in mind these vocals are already processed but i'm just gonna add the vocal double just so you can get an idea this is the plugin it's quite simple you have three knobs basically three options uh, which is the separation field the variation field and the effect only amount knob which is basically the mix knob if you just leave it as it is and we play the vocals Arden, Duncan kind of sounds like a chorus with a little bit of a flanger going on but let's actually increase the separation while keeping the variation on zero Arden, as you can tell this is really wide already it's kind of achieving the um, vocal dubbing effect which <laughs> that's the name of the plugin anyways but what if we tweak it what if we add some variation as well like let's keep this at 50 percent but also enable the variation like let's go on 50 50. Arden. Duncan. Basically what the variation field does, it slightly changes the pitch because if you're dubbing a vocal, you're not always going to be on the same pitch unless you have perfect pitch and you know good vocals. But in this case, it's going to create the effect as if you would actually dub the vocal and you know every time it would sound different because we're not robots. But what if we have the variation all the way up while the separation all the way down? Alvin. Duncan. As if you would just dub the vocals and have zero, you know, stereo separation going on. Okay, so in this case, what settings would you use? What, how would you tweak this? Well, in my case, I usually have the separation quite higher while the variation a bit lower because I'm already gonna dub my vocals anyway. So I don't need that extra dubbing going on if I can already dub it like three times in a different way. Just increase the separation maybe in between 60 to 70 80 percent maybe Arden, Duncan. but then again i don't want this to be in your face that much so let's enable the other vocals and the beat and then also play with the amount knob so we can actually change the mix and see how it actually sounds like in a real life situation because what's the point of mixing a, a soloed vocal if you don't know how it's gonna sound like in the final mix Arden. So around 90% on the amount knob should be fine. As I said, the separation around 75%. You can also add some, some variation if you feel like it. Just keep in mind that the variation knob also slightly changes the timing of the vocals because when you're dubbing vocals, you're not always gonna be on the exact same time uh, grid ever you know what i'm talking about so it's gonna come in slightly before the actual vocal and slightly after so it's replicating an actual chorus it's good to know these beforehand before applying the effects seeing how they would actually fit in a real life situation also i would advise you guys to not add this to every one of the vocals because then it would be overkill 
you don't want everything to be in in stereo because I've, I've done this mistake before and you know it sounds good at first and then you take a break from listening to the song you come back and then the vocals just feel lost like behind you and everything just do it in a smart way now an alternative to this as i said would be stereo enhancer or ozone imager all of these are free but if you don't want to download any vsts you can as i said add stereo enhancer and then play with the stereo separation knob although what i don't really like that much about stereo enhancer is yeah that's fine you do have a stereo separation knob you still need something to be separated otherwise it's going to be in mono because it doesn't know what to take where uh, and then you have the phase offset knob but the thing is in order to actually get the stereo separated sound you need to change uh, the offset so if you turn the knob to the left then the right channel is going to come in before the left channel so if i were to solo this vocal let's say turn the knob all the way to the left Amen. Amen you know so you really have to keep this like really subtle for the effect to come in and as you can see it's making one channel louder than the other and we don't really want this hence why i um, advise you guys to actually use vocal doubler or ozone imager or even ozone 8 you know it's a paid plugin it's doing its job way better than a free one but yeah, this about covers studio imaging on vocals. If you want to know way more about recording vocals and post-processing vocals and, you know, some secret sauces, then today's sponsor is going to be right for you. You already know who I'm talking about, baby. Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in music production, design, marketing, video editing, you name it. And the premium membership gives you access to join all of the classes and all of the communities that are right just for you and your new year goals. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. I'm currently watching Making Music in FL Studio 12, Introduction to the Basics by Dmitry Belichenko and honestly I've learned so much and so many things that I didn't even know were considered as basics and I highly suggest you guys watch this class as well. And if you guys are struggling with making your own melodies, there are tons of classes specifically made for music theory and they range from beginner level to expert level and you're always gonna learn something no matter what level you're at. Skillshare is also super affordable affordable an annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month so you can join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare but that's about it with this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to know some more specific vocal recording effects or mixing for vocals and vocal related stuff please let me know because I don't want to just do producing stuff I also want to be able to show you guys some vocal tips as well and vocal effects and I also want to expand my audience to vocal performers as well also please follow me on social medias I want followers <laughs>